You want some pancakes? Yeah, we'll get you pancakes. We have to brush your teeth first. Then we can leave the room and go out, okay? Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm starting the vlog today. About five, ten minutes. About five or ten minutes before we usually would start the vlog. Because I want to give you kind of like the reality of traveling. Bring you into this little bit before the behind the scenes. When we're rushing around getting ready. The room's a mess. Coda's, Coda's screaming for pancakes. Because he had, um, he had some pancakes yesterday at breakfast. Yeah, do you want some pancakes again? Yeah. All right, we have to brush your teeth then. <laughs> yes, see. I mean, he's gonna try and brush your teeth. Okay, nearly ready to leave the room. There is a lot that goes into it beforehand. Where's my hat? Here it is. Where's my hat? We have. Thank you, my phone's here as well. We have spread out in this room this time. Sometimes we're quite concise and we uh, keep things very neat. We've also had an issue with phone chargers, so we've got no phone charge. And today, guys, it is raining. Luckily, we got a swim in because we've... At Whoa, that's loud. We've got our pool here. Um, so we stepped outside here first thing this morning and got a swim in before it started raining. But look at this weather now. So we are heading out to breakfast first. But then we decided because of the weather, there's really only one thing to do in the Philippines when it's raining like this, and that is go to the mall. So we haven't been to a Cebu mall for, well, since the last time we were here for Sinulog Festival. So a good number of years. We're just gonna put Coda's rain cover on, which he's not a huge fan of, but it's better than getting soaking wet. We'll find some umbrellas and then try and get to breakfast. Don't wanna waste time. I'll never be this young. I'll never be there. Are we both gonna fit under this? No, is there only one? Yeah. Oh dear. I am so excited to share the sponsor of today's vlog with you. It's just unlocked so much and it's all I can think about since I started doing it. So I'm today gonna be telling you a little bit about My Heritage, the world's leading family history research service. I started building my tree and I've already got 130 family members down and that's only on one branch, my dad's dad's side. You basically start inputting all your data, you put yourself in first and you add your brothers, your sisters, your mum, your dad, and you have access to 19 billion plus records. Earlier today, I had a notification pop up and it said that I am about to unlock another 40 members on my tree because it connected with a lady living in Australia who is my second cousin twice removed, meaning that I have basically just unlocked a huge chunk of my family tree that I didn't know about in Australia. This is using a feature called Instant Discoveries. So basically the more you add, the more that comes back to you. I just keep getting these notifications and I'm just so excited. Every time I see that there's another match, I'm like, oh, there's someone else I'm gonna learn about. Something else that I've really enjoyed doing and my family have really enjoyed seeing is the ability ability to enhance, colorize, and then animate some old photos. So there's a black and white photo just here of my mum's dad when he was a baby, and I've managed to send that video to my mum. Obviously, my mum never got to meet her dad as a baby, but now she can see an animation of him. I encourage anyone out there who wants to learn a bit more about their history to sign up for the 14-day free trial. Every night at the moment, I'm just sat on the laptop, adding people, finding new people, and I, it's become kind of addictive because I always think about my parents, my grandparents, even my great grandparents, but you almost forget that there's ancestors above you that led an entire full life that meant just as much to them as your life does to you. People that I've never met, that I've never even heard of that are in my family. After your 14 day free trial, if you do decide to continue it, then you'll get 50% off your full subscription. There's gonna be a link below that you can check out to sign up. George has also got his started. Maybe he's gonna talk more about his tree soon with you guys. Thank you to MyHeritage for sponsoring the video and we hope you enjoy the rest of today's vlog. Well, I think we need to prioritize the camera. Okay. Okay, we made it, made it dry. Kept the camera dry. We're now at breakfast. Phew. I think Coda's the kind of guy that's when he's hungry, he's hungry. And I think he gets that from us too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got his pancakes now. Um, and I'm gonna also go get him some other bits in the buffet in a second. As you guys know, we're staying at Crimson in Mactown right now. And this is their breakfast restaurant. Yeah. And it's called Inye. And it's, yeah, like an a la carte breakfast menu, but you also have buffet options as well. So it's really good. Coda's having this. We also have a free shuttle service at 9.30. They drive to Ayala Centre Cebu. So that's where we're headed today. And I actually can't wait because it's gonna be quite nostalgic. We actually held a meet up there back in 2019. 
Really? Or 2020. I think the end of 2019. Yeah. And um, we've also been there and ready for Sinalog loads of time. We always used to go to Abaca or Abaca. I think it's Abaca, isn't it? Uh, which is like a really good restaurant there, like a cafe, and we've got the burgers and all the coffee, and we've spent hours and hours editing in there before. It's also where we met Kim and Tom for the first time. There's so many things that like the Ayala Centre means to us. So we're super excited to get back, see what it's looking like these days. We've obviously not been since the pandemic and everything as well. See if anything new has opened up and just kind of get more out into the main Cebu. We've not actually driven to the city yet. We've just been on Makatan Island up to now. Obviously you guys saw in yesterday's video, we went to the food market, but that was on Makatan Island as well. So yeah, first time headed to actual Cebu city, which I cannot wait. Thankfully, the lobby here is fully undercover because we would, it's still raining. We would be getting soaked right now. Coda's quite excited at the prospect of us going on a bus. I told him it's a bus. It's more like a van. Thank you. Say hi. Okay, we're in the van. Very grateful for this free shuttle service, that Crimson Run. Um, they're going to pick us up in a few hours. Wow, Coda. Was that a tractor? Yeah, this one is, kind of, yeah. More. Wow. You're looking at the diggers. So there's a lot of um, a lot of works going on here at the side of the road. And because of the rain, there's slightly more traffic than usual. So we're actually looking at about around an hour's journey or more right now. But that's fine. We've got air conditioning, keeping dry. I wonder if the mall will be busy today because of the rain. Yeah, I think so. It's a Monday, so you might think it would be less busy than the weekend. But I think the rain makes people go shopping. Yeah. Or eating. I may look for a couple of new t-shirts. I feel like I'm wearing the same clothes in every single video, every single day. I only bought about four t-shirts with me for this whole trip. And it's a very long trip. <laughs> Can't even call it a trip, can we? No. We actually, we, we still actually don't have a ticket. A trip has a start again. Yeah, we don't really have, we don't have a flight back to London currently. So um, who knows? We also must find a, I don't know what the stores are, like the tech stores, Digital Walker maybe, or? It's probably like a whole tech section. True, maybe they'll have smaller stands. We basically, we've got this power bank that we travel around with. It's an old brick, it's massive. You can probably get smaller ones these days. We've had this since the early days of traveling. It's an anchor. It doesn't even have USB-C. It's just two, two original USB ports and then a mini USB for charging it. Um, it's big. It kind of still does the job. It takes forever to charge. Uh, but you can still get a good few phone charges out of it. However, Lightning Cable is no longer charging our phones, either of our phones, so it's kind of useless at the moment. And if we run out of phone charge whilst we're out and about, that would not be good, because obviously part of what we do is all on our phones are like Instagram stories and taking photos and videos, and of course contacting the hotel so we can actually get back or booking a grab or whatever. So yeah, we need to straight away in the mall try and find a Lightning Cable with the old USB, which could be interesting. Should be fine, hopefully. I'm driving through a part of town now. I'm not sure what it's called or where exactly we are, but it's like a it looks like a clothing area. There were like all these kind of clothes markets, and it was like somewhere for like five pesos and all these huge piles of clothes and it's so cool to see like the local life the best bit about travel is like you suddenly find yourself like plonked to use a very british word plonked into a life and a culture and a city and a place that you may never come to again you may never i may never drive on this street ever again in my life i don't know but for that one moment that you're here you're experiencing the day-to-day -day life of these people who live here and for them it's their normal routine we're just kind of passing through. You get a snapshot of a community's everyday life and routine. It's very, very cool. Okay, we're in the mall, Coda's running around 
as always, I don't know where this boy gets his energy from because I'm knackered. <laughs> but he just runs and runs and runs and he won't stop. Anyway, there's a cafe here called The Mill and it looks really nice. Those are fresh breads and stuff. And it feels way more modern than I remember in here. Like it feels, it feels better than a manila mall in a way. It's more like, not better, but more modern and even like these little chairs and stuff out, all these funny shapes and nice plants all super clean and the choices of shops are really nice as well we've got like mango this feels very high end more high end than i remember um, and even the displays in the shops are really nice like in mango here all the little models uh, the mannequins are all sat with their legs crossed over which is uh never seen that before but anyways and um, we're going to try and get coded to sit in the buggy for a second so we can go for a little walk around we need to buy some i need a new eyebrow pencil i need some more off lotion and we need to find this new cable we're going to grab a coffee as well get in the buggy Go on then. Seems like we were wrong about the rain. It's not busy at all. It's actually really, really quiet here. Quiet. I mean, oh it is gosh, a Monday. George. This is the meetup. Wow, okay, right. Oh, oh wow, oh, oh, crazy. We're so close to where we wanted to go. I just said, let's yeah. find where this place is and I've already found it. Yeah, right yeah no, there was a the mosquito in front of the lens. This is the place we always used to go. A baka. That, two things. We sat on the table there and tried some Filipino snacks for the first time with Finn's Snow. Yeah, let's go and look at it. And this is exactly where we had the meetup. Wow. Which is crazy. Literally, this is that. Yeah, spot. this. Oh, hang on, lens. This is where we had that meetup. Comment below if you're still watching the vlogs. If you came here and saw us, everything's steaming up. Not only the lens, even the. Uh, yeah, Abaca Baking Company. Is it Abaca or Abaca? I oh, know. Comment below. Yeah, we could just ask them. Who remembers? This is where we first met Kim and Tom for the very first time. First met them for the very first time. Very first time. Not we time first, first met, met them for the them. second time. Yeah, this is where we first we met first them for the, met first, them for the first time. time. But then we met them for the first time again. Because we next forgot day. who they were. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, this here, where I'm stood, is where we met some of you guys. And we had a meetup, our first Cebu meetup. Our only ever, actually, Cebu meetup. And as much as we love the idea of doing a meetup again, I don't think it's ever going to work with codes. <laughs> no, I announced it, but where is everyone? No one wants to meet us anymore. Oh, never mind. Oh, I would love it, but like we just have to be hands-on parents. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. 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 Is it Abaca or Abaca? How do you say it? It depends on the, gen uh, the nationality. Oh. If you are Filipino, it's Abaca. 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 All right, we were right then, okay, I think. Okay, cool. <laughs> we weren't sure. Yeah, cool. We're just going to order some coffee for takeout, sure. I think. Yeah, thank you. I remember that toilet. I spent yeah, hours I in there before. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Hello, Hello. Hello. thank you. Good Hello, good morning. Wow, look at all this stuff. Oh. Looks super Very tempting, nice doesn't it? I really know. tempting. Lemon custard cookie. Look at the bagels as well that they have here. Whoa. Hello, could I please have a flat white and an iced Americano, please? Yes, thank you. Uh, regular, please, thank you. Well, BDC prices are a lot, guys. This is just 125 pesos for an Americano in a really nice place in a nice mall. That's so cheap. I want to explain to you guys how I'm feeling about Cebu this time around because it doesn't feel how I remember it to feel. And I've got this really weird thing where I've, I've shared this on Instagram before and some of you guys related to it. Some of you guys thought, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's this thing where I can put, for example, days of the week have different colors in my head and like numbers have different colors, names have different colors. And it's this thing, it's like, it's like a well-known thing that a very small percentage of people have. It's that other thing where people say, if, if you speak to yourself in your head, do you hear your own voice or do the thoughts just come to you? Like, do you speak to yourself in your head or is it just something that happens without you, you speaking, if that makes sense? It's one of those kind of things. Well, I don't know what it is about Cebu this time, but it feels so bright. Everything's bright. I don't know what it is. If it's the food, the people, if it's actually bright, maybe, that's what I'm thinking of. But it just feels like colourful and there's so much good energy and it's like a super happy place. Not that vanilla isn't that, but it just feels different this time. And it feels like, I don't know, if you imagine like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders, it's kind of like that feeling bit in a city. I can't explain it. It's just really, really nice to be here. 
um, everything seems easy going and laid back and simple as in like you need to do something and it's just things just happen it, you don't have to think about it too much it's just things that it feels like everything's gone super smoothly for us here so far maybe that's why as well but it's um it's a really really nice place to be right now and we're really happy to be spending a little while here and actually we've got a, quite a few more days in Cebu after today as well so there's loads more videos to come but yeah I just wanted to share that because it's a nice feeling that I'm having and I don't know if any of you guys have felt it as well being in Cebu if any of you have been here or you're living here right now thank you oh it's okay thank you we'll just take it thank you so much nice americano and thank you you need some sugar man oh it's okay thank you iced americano Ooh, really good. Mm, nice. Very nice. I'm having way less flat whites these days. I realized that oat milk was contributing George. to my daily mental breakdowns. <laughs> no. I feel like you talk about oat milk way too much. I do in the talk vlogs. about oat milk. No, but I've been try I was feeling like, I don't know, a little bit. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling that good physically sometimes. And I gave up, I tried to cut in a few things out. When I cut out oat milk, I feel much better. I think you mean your mood. Which is really sad. Right? Oh, yeah, but like mood, but like physical feelings, like in my stomach, in my chest, like uh, acid reflux type feelings. Enough talking of George's digestive system. Can I please have my I thought, coffee? That's what this vlog was about, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So Lucy's got go, a flat one. I may go, try and go back to cow's milk, but the reason I went to oat milk in the first place was, are you bored? Lucy's like trying to hammer the camera. The reason I went to oat milk in the first place was because cow's milk started to make me feel strange. So I've just been having no milk in coffees lately. Oh cool, little, little rubber cup. Okay, let's try it. It might be hot, so I need to be careful. Mm, really good. Yeah, I remember the taste. You remember it? It's really nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's cow's milk though, it might make your... I know. Bad mood for my mouth. It doesn't, yeah, it does put me in a bad mood because when you feel unwell physically, it kind of puts you in a bad mood. Let me try this. Oh yeah, it's quite nice actually. Problem for me now, that just tastes like milk. Yeah, remember that taste, very, very familiar. Very nice. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you, take care, bye. Really, really quiet here. And it has actually stopped raining. Which is very nice, but yeah, nice to be strolling around. Cebu, it has been too long. We really, really like it here. Yeah, super quiet, literally no one about. We're gonna head in, because it's very, very humid today. Camera keeps steaming up and then we have to keep wiping it. Oh, someone who watches the channel there. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's so confused because they're like, guys, I thought you were in Manila. I thought you were in Manila and then your Instagram stories are saying you're in Koron, but right now I'm seeing you in Cebu. So what's happening? Yeah. Basically the vlogs are behind. So if you see us in real life, just know it is us. It's truly us, but the vlogs are behind. So you're not seeing some that looks like us. It is actually us, but you just don't expect us to be where we are because the vlogs are behind. Well, you're not going to tell everyone that the vlogs have just been AI versions of ourselves for about a year and a half now. No, we won't. We won't tell them. We won't tell them. <laughs> okay, we're on level three now, which is where we asked, we need to find this phone charger. We need to find this cable that we need. We're going to try. Aha. Hello, how are you? We need... Um, yeah, a lightning cable. Lightning cables. But with the old USB. With the old Do you have it? Do you have it with us? Uh, this one like this. Yeah. Yes. How much is that? 799. 700. Okay. Is it it's Apple? Yes, Apple. The official. Do you have any like non-official? Have cheaper? any Do you have a cheaper version? Uh only 100 uh 380. Yeah, that's better. Sounds better to me. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Um I'm just going to walk with him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead if you want to. Yeah, it's perfect. 380. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there a Watson's here? Watson's, sir. Uh, they're the, uh, downstairs. Too downstairs. Down. Down there? All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. You can keep that. Uh, okay, All right, keep that. thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I do want to do, there's bench here. I want to do some clothes shopping. My favorite gym top that I wear is from Bench in the Philippines and I wear it in the gym in the UK all the time. I really struggle to find gym tops that are a nice fit because I don't like them too tight but I also don't want it too baggy in the gym. I'm also really tall. I've got like a long torso, is that the right word? So my like sizing is kind of off but 
my favorite ever that I found that is my preference was from Bench in BGC. So I'm gonna see if they still sell that exact one. So, so good to be back here. Yeah. I feel like it's very laid back, Cebu. We always said that about Cebu, and yeah. I think today's proved that even further. And I wonder if in another life we would have lived in Cebu, I don't know. I don't, yeah, do you know what? We were considering, when before Coda, and we were out here more regularly, we were like, what if we go and do a longer stint in Cebu? Maybe rent a place, it might be a little bit cheaper, it might be good yeah. to kind of get to know somewhere in like a living way because it's, yeah. it's very different living true. somewhere and visiting somewhere. True, true, true. We got very used to living in BGC, so we feel like we know what that's like to live, but we have no idea what it's actually like to live here. That would have maybe been really interesting, but obviously we know what happened around the year of 2020. Yeah. But anyway, it's lunchtime for us now. We're actually gonna, we actually wanna film a whole video on the food that we're gonna be getting here. So we're gonna save that for next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching this one. Please come back, because it's gonna pick up exactly where we left off. Come back for the next vlog. If you enjoyed this one today, please give it a thumbs up. If you're from Cebu, drop us a comment, say hi, and we will see you very soon in the next Daily Juice. Goodbye, guys. Yeah.